Hey you guys, it's Andy. I've just flown into Urumqi, the capital city of Xinjiang, all the way from Kashgar in the southwest. Let's go see what this city is all about. I flew from Kashgar to Xinjiang's capital, Urumqi, a distance of about 1500 kilometers. Xinjiang is huge. Here's my entire home country as a comparison. We flew over the beautiful Tian Shan or Heavenly Mountain Range, which gives the city its amazing backdrop. Urumqi has a population of about 3 million, and it's home to most of China's 56 ethnic groups. Since I'm only here a few days, I won't have time to check out the mountains up close, but I heard it's highly recommended. Hongshan Gongyuan, or Red Mountain Park in the city centre, will have to do. The park has pagodas, trees, a temple, and even some theme park rides. <laughs> Although the roller coaster doesn't seem to have been running for a wee while. Hongshan also offers a great view of downtown Urumqi. With the heavenly mountains in the background. Unfortunately, the weather turned grey and cold for the rest of my time in Urumqi, but that didn't stop me getting out and about. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. 周边，不太远的地方，一百公里左右。一百公里，一百公里以内，一百公里很远，很远吗？对，在新疆已经很近了。啊，真的？对，你在新疆。All of the taxi drivers I had are super chatty. They all said they haven't had a foreign passenger in more than a year. Okay, so it looks like she's brought me to a bit of an art market mall, which you know, just the same as you'd find anywhere in Paris, London, Sydney, New York, Shanghai. Uh, so yeah, maybe she thought I have more money than I really do. <laughs> Let's take a look around anyway. Well, you can't be Malatang, a Chinese favorite where you pick your own ingredients for a delicious spicy soup. At around 7pm I headed to the city's big bazaar to get a taste of Urumqi's Uyghur street food. The aroma of lamb, chicken and spices filled the cool air. The big bazaar is also a great place to buy local souvenirs. When I first read about this place online, there were a lot of people complaining, saying it's too modern, too clean, too commercial. I think it's just about right. And speaking of commercial, got myself some fridge magnets, uh, one for Urumqi and one for Kashkar, because I couldn't find any there. So I'm happy. It was so cold and it soon started snowing, which was beautiful for about a few minutes before I grabbed a taxi and raced back to the hotel for a hot bath. On my last morning, I headed to a bit of a unique tourist site, the geographical center of Asia. I found another friendly taxi driver and got her to drive me the whole way in the snow. The spot is about a 45 minute drive from the city and tickets are 30 yuan, about $4.50 US. In 1992, Chinese scientists discovered that this point in Xinjiang is the geographical center of Asia. This tourist site was built featuring a huge circle of concrete blocks representing all of the nearly 50 countries of the region. It's worth noting though that not everyone agrees. Russia also has a similar site with the same claim and using a different set of criteria. It's well worth the visit anyway. Well, 
Well, I must say that Urumqi, while it does have its charms, is just a city. If you're into shopping malls, international brands and people watching, then it's worth a visit. You could also just come for the Tian Shan Mountains or to see if the little roller coaster in Hongshan Park is working yet. I'm here in my hotel room in Xinjiang in Urumqi, the capital city. I went to a place on my first day called Hongshan Gongyuan or Red Mountain Park. Now it was a sunny day, it was a weekend day, so there was a lot of people out and about uh, playing around. Um, it was quite a nice place despite the weather still being a little bit cold, uh, the weather was pretty good. So that was the cut that made it into my film. But then what I wanted to do was uh, visit the same place again a few days later, as you uh, know if you've seen my film. Uh, from the second day forward in Urumqi, it's been really, really uh, bad, not bad weather, just very grey and cold, uh, depressing. So I decided to head back to uh, Hongshan or Red Mountain Park um, on a more gloomy day and a weekday uh, when I knew there'd be less people there. Uh, and then do some shots and edit together a piece um, based on my experience that day and with a little bit more of a gloomy outlook. So you can see two very different pieces that come from the exact same place but just on different days using different filming techniques, different music, different emotions and perhaps a different um, preconceived idea maybe. And it's worth noting that uh, in each of these videos it's all completely true, it's all 100% true, there's no need to lie but you can manipulate people's feelings uh, a little bit uh, with music um, and different sort of shots and different kind of uh, voiceover, as you'll see. So here, now I'm going to play you my more gloomy piece on Hong Chang Gong. Okay, now before I talk about uh, the clip you just saw, I'm going to play again the piece I used in my film, uh, which is uh, taken on a brighter day, a sunnier day, with more people having fun. Hongshan Gongyuan, or Red Mountain Park in the city centre, will have to do. The park has pagodas, trees, a temple, and even some theme park rides. Although the roller coaster doesn't seem to have been running for a wee while. Hongshan also offers a great view of downtown Urumqi. With the heavenly mountains in the background. Two, as you can see, two very different pieces, um, and neither of which uh, has any mistruths. Uh, it's just presented in a very different way. Um, one is more gloomy, it probably um, lets you, using your background information and what you've seen on Xinjiang before, uh, create a narrative or boost a narrative in your mind that you already had. The second clip that made it into my film is new to a lot of people. Uh, and it's actually my experience, a sunny day, a lot of fun. Um, I chatted with uh, the people about the rides that weren't working. You might have seen in my clip. I still kept it quite balanced. I kept in the shots of the closed down roller coaster and things like that. Uh, but having asked the ticket office, uh, the fact of the matter is that those rides don't run during winter and it's still 
it's not winter, but it's still very cold in Xinjiang. And apparently they have a five month long winter. So the rides will open up again later on. You might've noticed in my more gloomy story, um, I added, I focused a lot on those rides that weren't working, which of course, it's not deceptive. It's just the director, whoever's making the film can choose what they want to focus on. And that's going to be based on their preconceived ideas, their audience's preconceived ideas as well. So I focused a lot on those rundown rides to give a bit of an impression uh, however you might have taken it. I also shot a lot of uh, the rides through bars, through bars which may give you a feeling of uh, some sort of restriction or again it's going to add to the narrative you already have in your mind of Xinjiang. Another thing I did was I included a shot of a, a speaker or a light pole. Um, it's not a CCTV camera but it kind of looks like it so adding it into the film there may sort of again boost your ideas of uh, constant surveillance in Xinjiang um, and things like that so yeah that was my little experiment i hope you guys enjoyed it hello 大家好, Lianjing, Andy. 我自己觉得一点也不像啊，那我们先去问一些新疆人吧，呀，我像不像新疆人？有点像。算了算了算了，不拍了不拍了。